Brazilian presidential frontrunner Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva has published an open letter to the country's evangelicals as he seeks to chip away at far-right President Jair Bolsonaro's base in advance of a second round of voting in tightly contested elections. The letter, read at a gathering with evangelical leaders at a Sao Paulo hotel on Wednesday, promised that Lula would respect religious freedoms if elected, as he did during his 2003-2010 presidency. Brazilians will go back to the polls in less than two weeks, after a first round of voting on October 2nd saw Lula beat Bolsonaro, but fall short of what he needed to avoid a second round. Lula continues to hold a lead over Bolsonaro before the October 30th vote, but Brazilian opinion polls have underestimated popular support for the far-right leader, who gets much of his backing from evangelicals and other conservatives. Self-declared evangelicals make up almost a third of Brazil's population, more than double their share two decades ago. Some of Brazil's most popular evangelical pastors have campaigned for Bolsonaro, as they did four years ago when they helped carry him to victory. And about 65% of evangelicals back Bolsonaro, compared with 31% for Lula, according to the latest poll from Datafolha, released on Friday. Polls indicate that Catholics, meanwhile, largely support De Silva, who is Catholic himself. In the run-up to this year's vote, Lula has faced a smear campaign from Bolsonaro backers accusing him of plotting to close churches if elected. He also has come under attack from Bolsonaro's camp over abortion, after saying in April it should be a right, then backtracking in the face of widespread backlash in the South American country. On the subject of abortion, which is opposed by more than 70% of Brazilians in most circumstances, Lula also sought to assuage fears. Meanwhile, observers continue to question whether Bolsonaro will accept defeat. For months, he has claimed without evidence for months that Brazil's electronic voting system is vulnerable to fraud raising concerns that he plans to contest the results, similarly to former U.S. President Donald Trump, whom he has emulated. Judicial experts have rejected Bolsonaro's fraud claims as baseless.